first phase. Campaigning for the first phase of Lok Sabha election in Mikale ended today at 4 p.m. Voting is scheduled to be held on April 19th. As many as 10 candidates are in fray for the Mikale and Tura parliamentary constituencies, Chief Electoral Officer Dr. B.D.R. Tiwari said that the preparations are on in full swing and polling parties would start moving to their polling stations from today itself. Poll personnel of around 762 polling stations under P1 today have been dispatched along with the security teams. Around 30,000 to 35,000 personnel, including security personnel, are involved in conducting this giant exercise. There will be altogether 3,512 polling stations, including 2,288 in Shillong parliamentary constituencies and 1,224 in Tura parliamentary constituency. According to Tuwari, three FIRs on poll related campaigns have been received till now and 12,617 arms have been deposited. The seizures have also gone all-time high in this election as seizures worth rupees 43.13 crore have been made throughout the state. And the security personnel, etc. So at all level, our preparation, their training and all arrangement. We have more than more than 44 crore rupees either pre-MCC pre and post-MCC pre altogether, including the liquor, precious metals, cash, drugs, etc. And uh, in respect to the law and order, we had the uh, under the different section of the CRPC total, 1938 people has been uh, bound down, etc. Meanwhile, in Reboy district, the police department is all geared up for the Lok Sabha elections. Speaking to DD News, additional SP Jason Myrom informed that from the 333 polling stations, 35 are categorized as critical and vulnerable. In relation to the deployment of polling personnel, he informed that personnel will depart to the 89 polling stations today and the personnel for the remaining 244 polling stations will depart tomorrow. Three violations of model code of conduct were reported in Ripoy district. Dan lay spot lay lay tali di polling station. Nah kita lay spot lay lay tali lay pusat tali di polling station kita categorize critical plus vulnerable. Tapi dia bagus security deployment. Ia akan biang katakan ke ECI norms. Ni yo lay tali di company ina po central. Tiap di ni lay tali company ni lay utilize. Ban penan kami kita ke patrolling, ke nak checking, buat kumpat terter. Di nihmil ti bagi election kena jebet kena long kapa jebet yang ti. Tapi day bagi jinlet yang di polling personnel siapa polling station. Prap pandai tadi di polling station kena jebet atas ni kembali yang ke P minus dua atas ni siapa polling dia. In Ampati hundred of polling teams. Assemble outside the DC office in Ampati, South West Gara Hills today to collect the electronic voting machines and commence the intricate logistics of facilitating a free and fair voting on April 19. The gathering signified the monumental scale of democracy in action, underscoring the diligent planning and coordination essential for such significant electoral endeavor. In West Giant Hills, 2,7374 voters will cast their votes in 312 polling stations spread across five assembly segments of Nartyang, Jowai, Raliang, Mukayao and 7 Amlarem. Deputy Commissioner of West Giant Hills District, B.S. Solia, today said that 71 polling parties have already departed for their designated polling stations, while the remaining 241 polling teams will begin their journey tomorrow. He also assured the security measures have been put in place at all polling stations. Terus kita arlap new hajar laispa new pusa male and female polling stations laispa hajar new pawai polling station kini ini matasi, but laispa sahui kini lasai. The overall law and order situation, security arrangement in the district adu mata kalong normal, kemudian guno guno ke 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 balong ke kumui pada, but ki yajbet adu mata ki arrangements. A group of youth on Tuesday met the secretary of the Central Recruitment Board 
of the Meghali Police, Mary T.G. Sangma at Molai Moro to seek clarification on the revised guidelines issued by the department on, on the upper age limit for recruitment to the people, to the police force. They demanded the upper age limit to be based as per the office memorandum of 2022 that raised the eligibility age from 27 years to 32 years and from 32 years to 37 years for the scheduled tribes for recruitment of candidates in various posts in different departments of the government. Youth activist Bari Lang Pingrop said that the police department had suddenly revised the upper age limit without a fresh notification from the personal department. Ini wan sini simply wan buat jengkeli hakasi RB. Nomor ba mana kan ni di kena agri di pada mungkin. Ia tiap ba haka agriculture tu di bangla India di orang bahasa kami di kena ICA. Jadi ibu jengkeli very immediately di release for agendum. So ni supo jengkeli same thing now ni wan wan buat jengkeli. Why? How? In which way? Was this done? How are they allowed to just make their own rules as they go there? All literate, all educated, what have come here in the Sendat Sendat release, yet the revised guidelines without notification. The mental part can release a notification. Hadian, the long come up in Ija, you put it by your tongue, shim not to the jar. A massive fire engulfed two houses in Maulai, Mauyong, Um Japung, Shillong on Tuesday morning. The incident reportedly occurred around 8.30 a.m. The two houses belong to Duen Tina Nongneng and Risuk Wanshong. The source of the fire was suspected to be an electrical short circuit. The fire service rushed to the scene to extinguish the raging inferno. Unfortunately, both houses were burned to ashes, but a Bible miraculously remained untouched by the fire. <laughs> Kita kebawa pelak lomba. Dia mengasai lu kita profet. Ini ke Bible ke film ini. Ini ke korban kan ke film ini. Kasulong tang kasuyong tang lejong ke bawah. Dan rem dan ini di slide bah. Ing dengan kita jinjar kan. Jumpu ini. The three-day inter-house athletic meet organized by the Ripoi Presbyterian Higher Secondary School Nongpo concluded today at NSCA Mini Stadium in Nongpo. P. Lingdo Nonglai, the district school education officer, graced the event as the chief guest. Prizes were distributed to different schools, houses and individuals. Speaking at the event, she said that sports promote unity and togetherness. In international news, devastating rain and flooding battered normal life in the United Arab Emirates. The portion of major highways have been inundated following he heavy downpour that lashed large parts of the region yesterday. The National Center of the Meteorology has issued a red alert for residents and visitors to be extremely vigilant till today. Lightning flashed across the sky, occasionally touching the tip of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. Meanwhile, heavy rains continue to lash Oman, killing at least 19 people in North Al Shariyika and Adam on Monday, official sources said. Heavy rain also fell in Bahrain, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. And in sports, in IPL cricket, Gujarat Titans will take on Delhi Capitals at the Narendra Modi Cricket Stadium in Ahmedabad today. The match will begin in a short while from now at 7.30 p.m. Rajasthan Royals yesterday won by two wickets against Kolkata Knight Riders at Eden Gardens in Kolkata. And now for the weather report. Maximum temperature 26.1 degrees Celsius, minimum temperature 17 degrees Celsius, relative humidity in the morning 67% and in the evening 50%, rainfall 1.8 millimeters. 
Forecast light to moderate rain is likely to occur at isolated places. And now for the headlines once again. Campaigning concludes for first phase of Lok Sabha elections in 102 seats polling to take place on Friday. Stage is set for polling on April 19th. Over 30,000 persons engaged in mammoth exercise. Reboy police all set for Lok Sabha polls personal depart for 89 polling stations today. Applicants demand revision of upper age limit for recruitment in police department. And Bible remains untouched in fire that gutted two houses in Maulai, Moyong. Well, that's all we have for you in today's edition of the news. Do tune in tomorrow at the same time and same channel. Have a good night.